So lots of things. The blue on the gills, the crescent behind the eye, the separation in the uh, lateral line, the white coloration on the anal fin, the dorsal fin. Alright, what's up everybody? Everyday Angler here. Today I drove to Alabama, three hours away to Alabama, to meet up with Steven from Fly Fishing Alabama. He's a guy down here and he's going to take me down a pretty sweet river chasing some red-eye bass, some spotted bass, and I've heard that he is a topwater master, so we stuck with topwater all day. So just get ready for like constant blow ups, nice fish being caught, a little bit of waiting. He's got a river rat too, so I'm gonna row a little bit, let him wear the GoPro while he fishes. Uh, it's gonna be a great video. We got rained out at the end of the day, but you know, it got hot, we went swimming, we were already wet, it was a great day. So yeah, let's just get straight to the video. Hey. There we go. All right, everybody. We just made it past, well, we had to drag through a bunch of shoals, but Steven's telling me this is the, uh, where the top water action starts, right? So we're gonna throw honestly look at the size of this. That's a big hook, brother. Yeah. That's a two watt. A two watt on a little five weight. They got a Sam's one bug here, and you can tell this one has been uh, well chewed up. Honestly. That's a, that's impressive that this little five weight can cast this thing. It's a little bit of a slower action which I like. You call that a slower one? Yeah. Okay. Huh? Let me show the people's this pattern that we're using. Are you good with that? Yeah. It's like a it is kind of a funny looking frog pattern. Yeah, bass pop fly shop frog pattern. Bass pop fly shops frog pattern. And it's like the perfect size too. I bet you could catch a bunch of smallmouth on it. Now I'm guessing I want to be a little more aggressive with this one. Ooh, look at those bubbles. Let me send it up here again. Just, oh, as hang. soon as as soon as it hits, just give it two quick pops. I usually do. Um, I'm fine with it sitting still for a second before you do that. That's not a problem whatsoever. That's just typically. It. Got one. Boom, there you go. Good job. There you go. That's what it was right there. All we need was one in the boat. Should have told me oh, sooner. Big one, right below him. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Where's your stuff? Here. Throw it, throw it. Okay. Scoot that fish over here close enough. There he is, there he is. Almost, almost. He didn't get the hook, he didn't get the hook. Oh, that's a big fish, hang on. You ready? Yep. Watch, bring your guy over there again. Oh, do you see him? No, I can't see him. Is he going for it? Yeah. Over and over again. Ah! Move your fish over just a little bit. There you go, right there. All right, we're gonna drop it in, drop it in, drop it in, drop it in. What in the world? He's eating it like four times. Watch, mm -hmm. watch it, you ready? Yeah. Three. Two. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Double up. Dang, that fish really well wanted it, dude. Can you need the net? No, I got it. Yeah, yeah, give me the net. That was fun. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> Bring a swing him over here. Oh, okay. oh yeah. Oh, put your little dude in there. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if it wasn't for my little dude, that big guy would have would pulled out. Hit. That looks awesome. That's fun. That's big camera worthy right there. That's fun. All right. All right. 
First fish of the day was a double. <laughs> we got that little guy on poppers and then sure enough, here comes this fella chomping at the bit ready to eat. So just threw the bad boy in and that's all she wrote. Let's see if we can find that other line. There we go. We'll get the little guy off. Let's let him breathe for a second. And we'll let him go. Awesome, dude. Let's get it. All right. Yeah, but I think what we really what we did is we switched the retrieve to how you usually do it, which is a, a little more action than what I fish a popper with. So, and that was a ticket right there. Paid off. And that big bass, I mean, he was hungry. He came he back for that fly like five times. Mm-hmm. There's a baby. All right, let's get it, dude. Let's get it. There's another one. Another one? It's a decent one. No, I mean, just another fish. Oh, this is a good in-between of what we just got. Here, let me see that back row. I don't want to spook him. That guy hit it immediately. Oh, yeah. We're in the spot now. This is about to be a really good day. I will say, oh, he just spit it out. Perfect. Quick release. I just want to show everybody on the YouTube real quick that for some reason, now this is a smaller one, so the smaller ones will be like that. But the spots in North Georgia don't have these patterns up here. No, they do not. They're a true spot, Kentucky spot. Though. Yeah. That's a beautiful fish, and they fight and if they like do, a hail. Alabama bass, those spots that they do have them, Alabama basses will make contact with the uh, dorsal fin, whereas the true spot uh, will not. Okay. Be, uh, space. I also heard that these Alabama bass get like significantly bigger than the Kentucky spots. Not really, I really don't know. I, I, I've heard that, but I don't know. All right. I, trade you want to trade? Yeah. Yeah, if you don't mind. Is that okay? Do you care to wear this? Um. All right. Steven's about to show me how it's done. <laughs> I'm going to try. Yeah, it's a much more subtle noise than a lot of poppers, but it's a good acoustic. Oh my gosh! Boom! Got him! <laughs> I told you I wouldn't be up here very long. That's a good fish! A good Let's one. go! Yeah, it's a great fish. That's a good size <laughs> fish. Swing them over here. I will. Three, two. Yeah. There oh, he is. That's the biggest one of the day for sure. Nice. Here you go. Swing him up here, Timmy. Oh, he's missing like part of his peck. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh, he swallowed it too, dude. That's strange. Let's see if I can get this out. Good fish right there. Yeah, I wonder what that was. Maybe a lamprey stuck on him long enough. I don't know. Beautiful fish, though. All right. I'll get, get you another one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, we had a great lunch. Played with some drum, but we didn't hook into anything. I'm gonna keep fishing the little frog and see if we can't get some bigger bass in the boat. All right. Yep, uh, that's a decent one.
You just can't get tired of them. Of watching them eat like that, man. Heck yeah. All right. Come here, buddy. Beautiful little spot. Okay. And then you'll work the inside pocket the way you were initially thinking about doing. That's not the big one. Just get him in the boat real quick and get him out of the way. Thank you anyways, bud. I know. That is not the way. Alright, so now go back right here. See my oil where it's pointing? Yeah. Back left, hit that pocket where the tree is. The one that's falling into the water. That's it right there. Right there? Next cap, 20 feet up river. Okay. They are. I was about ready, about ready to break a freaking jaw. Oh. Oh. Oh Woo! That was a good one too. <laughs> that was a good eat. It's a good fish. It's the best one of the day. That did deserve a fish, didn't it? Yes. I'm gonna keep him down. Turn him. That's the best fish of the day right there, buddy. Flip that net over. Whoo! Little five weight. Don't go to my oar. Ooh. Hey, he's not even close to being done. <laughs> Let's go! Good job, bro. <laughs> Thanks. Dang, that's a tank, man. It's a good fish. If I can get him out. Want to measure him? No. Or no. do you want to? I want to. I just want to see like what. I'd say he's probably 16 inches. Let's see what he is. Maybe 16. Maybe not. Nope. Dead up. 15 on the nose. It's a good fish though. Oh yeah. Good looking Alabama bass. Healthy. Yep. He's a fighter. He blew up on that thing like. And but you you put it right where he was supposed to be too. We're gonna risk it for the biscuit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See you, buddy. And gave you a high five on his way out. <laughs> he did. That's the first high five I think I've ever done. <laughs> it's like see ya. All right. Well, after uh, Stephen caught that really nice one on top water, I decided to give the streamer a try. So I've just got my eight weight with a Cortland's Compact Intermediate. And I'm actually gonna be fishing a Ian's Swinging Knuckle Fly, which I like this fly, but those double articulated flies get snagged like nothing, so. But I'm sure these fish are pretty aggressive. I mean, if they're taking something like that, I side cast too. I'm like always side cast though. So. There's gotta be something right in there. Ah. Did you see that? Wow. Thank wow. God we weren't over there. Man. Did you on camera? Yes, I did. That's remarkable. You gotta go deeper than that. Okay, I changed my mind. 
pop on it. Yep. Because it's so much work. Yeah. That was crazy. That's the type of stuff, like, seriously, why if we were over there? We'd be dead. Or at least definitely in the water. Got him. <laughs> There's a little spot. I mean, they are everywhere though. You No, it's good. It's like the average size, I'm guessing, around here. Yeah. I mean, I know there's bigger ones. Towards the fall, they get a little smaller. Like that. that one's probably about a year or two. Maybe two years old. They're fun though, <clears throat> regardless. <clears throat> I don't know what that was. I'm talking about the hook there. <laughs> oh, I don't know what that was. I think that was probably a brown. But the tree behind it is really a hot spot. Boom! Got him! Yes! That's probably my best one of the day. This side. Up every side? Yeah. Swallowed it, dude. Oh! Oh! <laughs> there he goes. Woo! Heck yeah, dude. Good fish. Absolutely inhaled it though. All right. Oh, they got teeth. They do. A remarkable amount of teeth. And they hurt. Yeah, they got beautiful colors on them down here. They do. They're all marked up. Like when they're babies in, the babies in Georgia will be marked up like that, but not that size. Not the adult? No. So what type of red eye is it? A Cahaba. Cahaba. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can tell by the little blue markings on its... Uh... So lots of things. The blue on the gills, the crescent behind the eye, the separation in the uh, lateral line, the white coloration on the anal fin, the dorsal fin, the tail fin. Okay. Lots of different features. Um, this one right here, because of the true segmentation, I say that's about as true as they get to a... Um, nice. To a Cahaba bath. Smack that little. Sam's um, one bug. Sam's one bug, yeah. It's a beautiful fish. Ooh, there he goes. I'll <laughs> floating there. He's a lot of energy. Oh, there he goes. He's gone. Coming off. Yeah, if he took that too. Sorry, that should have. Well, anyway, the more we work up here, there'll be more. I'll get another one. Alright all right, everybody, we have stopped at this little creek that flows into the river. We're about halfway through our float. But unfortunately, my uh, battery charger, my battery pack... Okay, he's catching fish, so I gotta make this quick. We're fishing a little creek, I got two batteries left in my GoPro. We're fishing for red eye. Hang on, hang on, keep it going. <laughs> Maybe another red eye. I think it is. Oh, man. Oh, he's... No, that's a little spot. Or it's a big red eye. That's a decent, that's a perfect little three weight spot right there. That is a, yep, you're right. Oh, I'm sorry. See, I gotta get to fishing. Yeah, we're filming. Let's go catching fish. <laughs> I just ruined all that for you. No, it'll be good. <laughs> all right, let me put this camera down. I'm gonna get to fishing. I will say this creek probably has or this body of water has the most horse flies I've, I think I've ever got bit by. Yeah. 
Well, past this shoal. Yeah. yeah. It's only gonna be like three, four feet deep. So. You get another one? Wait, this might be a red eye. No. Freaking spot. Is it another spot? Yeah. Another spot. Where's my red eye? Let's go! Come on! What is that? Oh man! That's a good sized bass, is what that is. I know. Nice spot though. All right, everybody, this GoPro battery is about to die. Well, let's see if I can get one of these red eye before that happens. All right, everybody. Uh, my GoPro died while we were fishing that little creek for red eye. I did not get one, but I got a bunch of spots and some sunfish. We are on our way back to the takeout. And as you can see, it is starting to rain. So I'm gonna put the camera up and uh, hopefully it's, it stopped by the time we get there. So I'll see you at the takeout. All right, what's up everybody? We're sitting in Steven's truck right now because we got rained out pretty bad. And I uh, had a great time on his river rat, came down here to Alabama and he pretty much ran me through a trip that you'd run through in your guide program. That's right, yeah. And uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, you can contact Steven at Fly, Fish Al Fly Fishing mm -hmm. Alabama on Instagram. He's also got a website. Uh, why don't you give him just really short what your guided trips are about. So my guided trips are typically, um, I don't know, anywhere between five to eight miles. I take several different sections of the Cahaba River and we hook around on other rivers too. Um, full day floats, half day floats, uh, whatever kind of suits your interest. Um, really the best part about my trips are it's unconventional. You know, it's about fishing. We do catch some quality fish from time to time, but it's about lunch. And it's top water action. Yeah, and, lots of top water And the action. food was like, yeah, not something you get on a regular guided trip, I'll say that much. Yeah. So uh, thank you for watching everybody. Hope you all enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys next time on another episode of The Everyday Angler.